Well, it fits the theme very appropriately, but I forgot the SD card for this camera, so I'm just going to film this on my phone. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Um, the reason I say that that fits the theme very well is that I had a video that I shot last week that was supposed to be published today, uh, where I went super into detail about all the modifications I was making to my 6 inch Red Max right there, and we did some sanding and some painting, as you can see, because it wasn't colored last time you saw it. Unfortunately, when I was out for work this weekend, I uh, forgot, I keep SD cards separate for still photos and video, and forgot to swap some around and everything like that while I was out and about, and I accidentally formatted the wrong SD card that had all of this video on it, so uh, yeah, the Red Max is painted, I'll show you what else I did. Obviously, with it being an upscale of a smaller rocket, I didn't want to change the length or anything. So I cut an inch of tube off the edge here so that I could use a, uh, a vent band and make it head end dual deployment. So now there's a forged steel eye bolt in there. And um, yeah, we got some paint on it. The fillets aren't as nice as some of my uh, rockets. I've spent a ton of time doing fillets like the five inch Punisher up there. But uh they're good enough for who it's for, plus uh, I'll be honest, I'm a little afraid, especially after the V2, of breaking these fillets and snapping these fins off on landing if we don't bring it down slow enough, just because of their fin shape. Red Maxes are kind of good at that. So, at any rate, uh, yeah, I was going to do a little quick video because we're going to put the decals on it real fast. I say real fast, there's a lot of them, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys, we did achieve the goal of 25 patrons, so... At the end of this month, you have seven days from this date to sign up for Patreon if you'd like to, because August, I'm giving away the first $100 rocket kit. Well, it's valued up to $100. You know what I mean. $100 or around there, high power rocket kit to one of my Patreon supporters. And uh, it goes for anybody at any level of Patreon, so it is not too late to sign up. You have seven days until the end of july to sign but uh yeah other than that we're just gonna slam these decals on right now and i don't really know how i'm gonna film this which is also very soon because i forgot my tripod when i was shooting the video on putting the red max together and uh yeah it's just been hot it hasn't been very enjoyable when i worked on the red max it was like 104 outside so it was uh it was exhausting but ready for decals now and that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna find somewhere to put my phone so i can film it and there's one more thing the new got thrust shirts are out there on the back they say anti-gravity group all the money from the sales from these shirt is going to anti-gravity group project that's me taylor and matt the guys who built the 12 inch punisher we have some plans for some other big rockets, and obviously, assuming that flight goes okay, we want to fly the thing again. So, any money generated from these shirts is going to the motor slash big rocket fund, as with all the merch sales and everything like that, and all the money generated from this channel all goes back into the channel. So, if you guys want to help support make bigger and crazier rockets and more frequent flights, more flights of bigger motors and stuff like that, uh, yeah, check out the link or go to rocketvlogs.com. And you can pick up one of those shirts. It'll be available through the end of Airfest. So that's September 5th is your last day to get one. Now let's put some decals on. All right, wish me luck on this one. Right. Well, here's a fun development. So I didn't buy the decals for this kit. I got the kit secondhand, as I explained in the last video. And the guy I purchased it from sent me the decals. They're the wrong size. Vinyl does not reach uh, as far as it needs to. The decal set has another one of these skull and crossbones. Um, it's supposed to go on the fin. I don't really know what to do. I'll probably just mask off about an inch there. And then try and get a straight line underneath down here. And then paint a black wrap around it and just put some skull and crossbones decals on that. Or maybe I'll just order the right size wrap from Mark. But uh, yeah, that's pretty annoying. Or I could just put it on and then figure out what to do about that extra gap there. But yeah, that sucks. Well, I'll be honest with you guys, that's just really annoying. So uh, I'm gonna go inside where there's air conditioning and put the rest of these decals on, even though they're technically not the right size for this rocket. Uh, they'll be close enough. I'm assuming he probably put in that it was a five and a half inch rocket, since that's another standard size of the olden days. 
lock precision still makes five and a half, obviously. But uh, yeah, so I'm I guess I'm gonna message Mark and ask him if he can make me just the new wrap. I'm gonna go inside and put the rest of these on, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, I have to say, the decals on the Red Max because it's been around for so long and has been upscaled and downscaled so many times. And there's offshoots and kit bashes and all this and all that. Even the Essie's website doesn't have consistent decal placement. Some of them, this cross doesn't have the black outlines in the pictures. Some of them, the, it's further down the fin and crooked. Some of them, it's right here and crooked. Some of them, it's like that. So, as much as it, I really wish I could just make sure it's placed perfectly to match the original... I can't find any sort of definitive exact layout, not even in the Estes instructions for the Dered Max. So I guess it's just uh, kind of a free for all. Okay, so I decided I'm just going to quickly spray my own black backing because I was already nervous about trying to put this wrap on. I've had bad luck with it in the past. So I'm going to spray it with black and then ask Mark nicely to make me some of these skulls and these screws. And from there, we'll be good to go. All right, so there you go. Masked it up, sprayed our ring of black. I don't know if you guys could tell well in the last one. Um, I used a piece of paper and I taped another piece of paper to it, obviously, because it's the circumference is bigger than an 8.5 by 11. Lined them up as perfectly straight as I could and then used that as a straight edge, wrapped it as tight as I could around the tube, measured it out, measured out how big I wanted it, then added an extra inch for the one inch masking tape and that's where I marked the paper and I followed the line of the paper with the masking tape as straight as I could possibly get it and then after that I put another piece of tape you can see over the joint between the two, and wrapped it in a trash bag, taped off the edges as tight as I can. Pulled it down over the fins, and uh, this is this rocket is like the biggest fin span you could possibly do with like a regular big black trash bag. But uh, oh, there's going to be a little bit of overspray there because I managed to peel it up a little bit, but shouldn't be too big of an issue. You can hit it with a touch up if needed. But otherwise, it's going to be okay. I'm actually going to call this a happy accident because I'm sure I would have messed up putting that uh, that body wrap on there. So. Now I'm just going to have some skulls made instead, and we'll call it good. So I'm going to let this dry for about 20 minutes, and then peel all the masking off, and uh, throw the nose cone on it so we can take a look. Time for some satisfying footage. It's looking pretty good. It does look so wrong to have that black band there without the skull and crossbones on there. It looks like an accident. It looks weirdly naked, but at any rate, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Rocket Vlog. Sorry, I had to uh, cut the quality and lost all the footage because I was pretty excited about going into detail about how I cut this and squared it up and everything, but. Uh, you know, as with rocketry, sometimes things go wrong and you just have to deal with it and figure out how to fix it. Uh, believe me, I am well aware that that happens in the video and camera community as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash rocketvlogs. Anybody who is a member of Patreon at any level by, July, or, sorry, by August 1st is going to have a chance to win the free high power rocket kit. And as long as we sustain at least 25 active patrons, every quarter I'll be giving away another one. Also, check out the t-shirt, rocketvlogs.com. It's the anti-gravity group got thrust t-shirt. We'd really like to fly the Punisher again. And we have another pro project planned that I will be telling Patreon about relatively soon because it's kind of getting to the stage where things are to the point where we're like, yo, this is actually going to happen like the last one, huh? So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. It's ridiculous to be like, uh, yeah, well, let's talk about our next big project pro 
rocket project when uh, we haven't even flown the first one but sometimes that's just how it goes anyway red max after four long years it's starting to look like a red max now we just got to put uh, new decals i messaged mark from sticker shock dot com sticker shock 23.com to uh get some new skull and crossbones made then we just gotta ground test it and uh wait for some flying weather i got a k780 red line to put in it and uh like i said got lots of other rockets to fly and in case you didn't know airfast registration is open if you want to come see the 12 inch punisher fly and you want to fly some rockets too register in advance you save some money or just come out there and spectate grab some food and have a good day just as a reminder, everything that's flying, I don't know if I've completely updated you all, but the V2 is actually going to be flying again, this time on a 98mm N motor, and as a Nancy, from my friend John Clifton. We're flying our 12-inch Wildman Punisher upscale. It's supposed to weigh around 200 pounds, about like an 0, 10,000 and change. It's a 10 to 1 thrust weight, or 12 to 1 thrust weight ratio for a 200-pound rocket. It's supposed to go 13,000 feet and almost touch Mach. It's going to be nuts. And I believe my cousin is going to bring some rocks to fly too. So it's going to be a good weekend. Thank you guys. Once again, I'm done talking now. I'll see you guys next time.